Hey guys, what's up? Rodney Sargent here with wheelieshow.com. We're out here at the locox.com headquarters. We're gonna talk about sport bike freestyle setup, formerly known as stunt bike riding. This is a professional level bike. What we've got here is a 2004 Kawasaki ZX6R. This is the perfect platform to build a stunt bike on. We're gonna talk about some of the hard parts that are on it, some of the stunt specific parts on it. One of the most important things for a freestyle bike is brakes. It's all balance and brakes. So we've got this beautiful setup by HoheyDesigns.com. It has your standard caliper here, which is for your foot brake. And what it also adds is a bracket for a four piston hydraulic handbrake so that you can control the bike when you're off the peg systems. It allows for a lot more trick combinations. This also has an oversized 20 millimeter larger brake rotor. Um, brakes and staying cool are the way that the bike's gonna properly operate. So this right here is a necessity in building a freestyle bike. We'll move up. We've got a shortened exhaust can here. This is the factory Kawasaki exhaust can. It's attached to a solid sub cage. Uh, the sub cage is chromoly steel. It attaches from the left to the right side of the bike with solid pegs. So you don't have to worry about your peg systems falling. They also act like a crash cage for the back of the motorcycle. Moving forward, we've got your steel braided brake lines that attach to these hydraulic lines. They're made by HEL, HEL.com. We've also got your solid rear sets. These are adjustable in three ways. We've got solid fixed pegs in case the bike hits the ground. You don't ever have to worry about the peg breaking off. We've got your crash cage by Sick Innovations, SickInnovations.com. This protects the bike, the frame, the plastics, the case covers, everything. We'll move up from there. This custom built gas tank. Um, this one is actually, the top is cut off of it and flipped. And then you use a traction pad on here. You can find these at locox.com. Moving forward, we're gonna talk about the front end setup. This has got a Hohei Designs custom billet triple clamp. HoheyDesigns.com makes this. What it does is allows you to not lower the nose of your bike, but run a clip-on tube on top of the triple clamp instead of below it. Gives you extra height, gives you that leverage. And I actually run a vortex clip on, seven degree angle, but I flip and swap them. So I turn them upside down and I swap left to right, right to left. Gives me an upward angle, gives me the leverage I need when controlling the bike in a wheelie. I run a steel tube in here. It's a 7 8 steel tube. You can find them anywhere. But this is perfect for a stunt bike setup because the bikes do hit the ground. This keeps you rolling. You don't have to worry about bending your controls, anything like that. Moving forward on the bike, we've got this custom fairing stay by Johnny P. He's out of Canada. Um, you can look him up online and on eBay. Just look up Johnny P fairing stays. It's made of billet aluminum. It allows you to run the factory gauge cluster and the factory bodywork. Um, but still be strong. Um, one more place to put your foot, a place to grab. Again, hard parts on these freestyle bikes are the way to go. Whatever it is you're doing with your stunt bike, these hard parts will allow you to keep doing it. Obviously, this bike has a custom wrap on it, so it looks sweet. Um, it's made by the in-house graphics, the inhouse.com. Gives it that visual effect. Nobody likes to ride ratty stunt bikes. Moving down a little bit on this fork, we've got your HEL brake lines up front. These ones are white, but they come in 20 different colors. They have a lifetime warranty. Steel braided lines are a must. Again, the brakes are actually the most important part of a stunt bike. This bike actually has a custom front end on it as well. Um, it's got oversized rotors off of a 07 ZX10, as well as the wheel conversion for the ZX10. You'll see these spacers right here. These are custom built. Um, any local machine shop can make those for you. It's not something you can just buy anywhere. Once again, custom parts on a custom stunt bike. Um, but this bike sees full-time freestyle duty traveling all across the U.S. I also run a slider in here too. This is from SickInnovations.com, the people that make the crash cages. Once again, keeping the bike from hitting the ground. Perfect stunt bike setup here, guys. This is my baby. This is, this is how it all goes down right here. Moving to the left side of the bike, we're going to talk about some of the other products that you can't normally see from this side. One of the key products for a freestyle bike is the sprocket setup. This is a custom rear sprocket. It's made of steel by SickInnovations.com. It is 60 teeth. This adds torque multiplication. Makes burnouts easier, wheelies easier. Uh, creates enough torque that it allows the bike to pull off of idle. We run these bikes on a higher RPM, usually around 4,000 RPMs for a pro level freestyle bike, if not higher. You don't actually have to go down for the throttle. The bike just pulls itself. Sprocket being very key component on any stunt bike. More Sick Innovations parts. 
Behind the tail section here in this factory tail is a Sick Innovations round bar. Back in the day, they ran a 12 o'clock bar, and those are still available, but this is an actual round bar. It's a stealth bar. You can still scrape it, but it keeps the protection on the back of the bike in case it goes all the way back. You don't destroy everything that's back here. Moving forward, we've got your custom-built seats. Um, there's a back seat here called the trunk. It allows you to put your foot here, your hands here if you're backwards, whatever your trick may be. It, this is another one of those things that adds for more combination tricks. Moving forward, another Sick Innovations part. We've got this tail saver made specifically for each bike. This is a good solid place to stand when you're moving around these combination wheelies. It's almost like you're standing on a piece of concrete. Front seat covered in a gripper material. Helps when you're sitting down on the bike riding wheelies. Doesn't allow you to slide in and out of the seat. Moving forward, we're gonna talk about these levers. All bikes have clutches, but this, this bike has a custom clutch lever set up on it. It's made by RighteousStuntMetal.com. Pull 17% easier than your standard clutch lever. We operate both of these at the same time. So it's precision clutch, precision braking. It's made of solid billet. It actually has a bearing system in it to keep all that slop out of your clutch system. You'll see this big hydraulic master cylinder here. This attaches to that big caliper that we talked about earlier. And you'll see another HEL brake line. It's about 80 inches long. It runs to the back and links that caliper to this master cylinder. All right, guys, that about sums it up today here at Loco X with our freestyle build. If you guys want to check out the website, locox.com, or give one of the sales reps a call for all these parts. They're available online. If you need help, give the office a call. They'll get you set up. You'll have a pro-built stunt bike in no time. I love it. I love the graphics. I just don't even know what to do. Dave, tag team it with me. Get the exhaust pipe.